This instructional video will demonstrate how to find equilibrium concentrations and ultimately hydrogen ion concentration to determine pH values for weak acids or weak bases. Most of what you'll be doing in this case is worrying about a problem set up like this. It's still equilibrium just with acids and bases. So we have an initial concentration and we have an equilibrium constant, which means that all we have to do is write out the reaction. And so we have a dissociation. And once we have this written out, the next step is to write out what's called the ice table. So we have the initial, the change, and then the quantities at equilibrium. So we start out with 0.10 molar here. We have nothing here and here. So no common ions to worry about. Uh, for every one mole we give up here, we pick up one mole for both of these. And so the equilibrium line is just the sum of these two. So we have 0.10 minus x. Here we just have x and x. So the next step then is to write out our equilibrium constant. And that expression, Ka, is going to have the concentration of our ions up top and the undissociated acid on the bottom. So we can plug in values now, where we get 7.2 times 10 to the negative 4 equals x times x divided by 0.10 minus x. So if we can assume that the value that we're subtracting off is very small relative to the amount we started with, we can use the approximation method. So, if x is very small relative to 0.10, then this becomes 7.2 times 10 to the negative 4 equals x squared over 0.1, which is just 10 to the minus 1. And so now we just have to solve for x. This simplifies things greatly. We argue that we have 7.2 times 10 to the minus 5 equals x squared. And taking the square root, we find a value of 8.5 times 10 to the minus 3 equals x. Now, in order to determine whether or not this approximation actually works and is valid, we uh, perform a check. And we use 5% uh, of the initial. So if this quantity is less than 5% of the initial amount, then it actually is small enough for this to work. So uh, it turns out that um, this is instead 8.5% of the initial amount. So that means that uh, this is a fail. So we cannot use the approximation method in this case. What we can do is use the quadratic formula, and that's going to give us the following result. That 7.2 times 10 to the negative 5 minus 7.2 times 10 to the negative 4 times x minus x squared equals 0. This means that A equals negative 1, B equals negative 7.2 times 10 to the minus 4, and C equals 7.2 times 10 to the minus 5. Now, with these values, we find values for X, and the one that actually works is 8.1 times 10 to the negative 3. And so this is 
different from the amount we found using the approximation method, but this is the correct value because the approximated amount is more than 5% of the original.